if you're going to start recording in the Lightboard Studio, um, then I can save you probably 50 hours worth of your time by just like telling you the things that I learned in, you know, in the several semesters that I've been doing this. So that's the purpose of this video right here. One thing is just accept that you're going to have to edit some video and that will actually free you, right? So I didn't know how to edit video at all when I started doing this and I was really dreading having to learn a whole new thing, but learning to edit video is a thousand times easier than getting a PhD. Uh, it's a million times easier to get it than getting a PhD. You can learn to competently edit video in probably 45 minutes. You go on YouTube and you type in iMovie editing basics or whatever, and you watch a 30 minute um, tutorial on how to use this software. And then what happens is, and you should use iMovie because iMovie is, is available on all Apple um, products for free and it's not some sophisticated uh, software. The main advantage of accepting the idea that you're gonna have to do at least a little editing and teaching yourself to edit video is that the pressure is off when you're recording. So you go into the Lightboard Studio and you say something and you say it just right and you feel good about yourself. And then you say the next thing and you kind of flubbed it. So then you just pause and sit in silence in the Lightboard Studio and collect your thoughts and then look in the camera and say it again. And you get it right the second time. And then you can go back when you're editing and just cut out the time that you flubbed it and you can cut out the time when you were just sort of collecting your thoughts and then the final product looks quite elegant right it just it's one one very concise well put thought followed by another very concise well put thought right you look great and 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 when you're recording you don't feel the pressure to say everything right every time so that's a huge advantage of just accepting the idea that you're going to have to do some editing is that it makes the the job of recording way lower pressure Another thing that I learned is that you can't write in front of your body. So you just need to accept that when you're sitting in this Lightboard Studio, you have a little bit of board on your, on your right, a little bit of board on your left, and those th that's the area where you can put text. Um, and you know, I, I recorded several times where I write things in front of my body and then I just kind of couldn't use that footage because it'd be very hard to read the marker in front of my clothing. When I first started recording in the Lightboard Studio, I, was, I would write these big quotes up on the board and then I would talk through the quote. Problem is, if you're gonna write like six sentences on this, on this piece of glass, you can do it, but it'll be very small and it won't work. So now when I record, I probably will only put 20 words on the board at a time. Um, you know, 10 over here, 10 over here, maybe a title up on the top. Um, but I, you, you just can't fit small text in there. It just won't be readable, it won't work. Figure out a way to not have to write that many words on the, on the screen, what I do is I edit in text in my movies, and it's, it wasn't that hard. It took me 20 minutes to learn how to do this, where I edit in the text and the text comes up typed on the board and I talk through the text and that sort of thing. Um, and that means that I don't have to write tiny and, and, and that was a big, that was the thing it took me a, a semester to figure out. Straight this with an example from Rene Descartes, who was a French philosopher his most famous philosophical work is called The Meditations on First Philosophy. They were published in 1641. Here are two passages that appear in meditation number six. The body is, by its very nature, always divisible, while the mind is utterly indivisible. And then the next passage is, the mind is completely different from the body. So I'm writing something, I'll look at the text that I've just written. And then I'll sort of look off into space for a few seconds. And then when I get to the fourth sentence that I'm uttering about this topic, the most important one, then I pause and look right into the lens. Or in the case of the Lightboard Studio, it's just kind of like a red dot is all you see. I look right at the red dot and I say that one sentence, right? That is actually better, it seems to me, from the viewer's perspective than just staring into your eyes for a full <laughs> 30 minute video or whatever. No, no, no like a normal person. You, you're writing something, you look at what you're writing an arrow, you look at what you're writing. You, you're making a point, you can look off into space, that's fine. But then every once in a while, when you get to the punchline, you look right in the camera and you say, and that's why Kant's view differs from Hume's view or whatever. And they're like, oh, okay, that was it. And then they write that, that down in their notes. Thing that I figured out is that it's actually probably best not to do too much writing while you're talking, right? 
So it's one thing to write like one or two words as you're talking through what's going on. But if you're gonna write up a whole sentence on the light board or a whole equation, and then you're gonna talk through it, the best thing to do is say what you're about to do, then be silent and just sit there in silence and write up on the board. And then, and then start talking about it and point to it or whatever. And then in post-production, this is a very easy thing to do. You can learn this in 15 minutes on YouTube in a tutorial. In iMovie or whatever video editing software, just take that clip where you're writing on the board, put the volume down to zero, mute it, and then speed it up. You just There's a speeding up feature, fast forward. And so what took me one minute to write out a whole sentence that I'm then going to talk about, to the viewer in the final product, it just is like, it, it's only two seconds long and it's two seconds of me going and then the text is there. That, it took me a while to figure out, but it, it just makes the whole thing a lot easier to watch. Today we're talking about a very short article by the philosopher Amy Kind. And this is a short article summarizing a very well-known argument uh, which we'll call the zombie argument. This is an argument against physicalism. Those are just some of the things that I figured out spending like three semesters doing this. This will probably save you one semester of like fumbling over things and pulling your hair out.